Yes. yes Thank you. Okay. Good evening. Good morning. And good afternoon, uh, everybody. Uh, actually, I'm Daniel Brahanet from Arem, from uh, Angara University of Agricultural Science and Department of uh, Plant Protection Institute, Department of Integrated Plant Protection, Godolo Institute. And of course, my application also goes to Hamanmalo Agricultural College, Karan Eritrea, East Africa, I mean. Uh, I'm very excited to be uh, today's presenter on International Data of Trans Society to back uh, to stay. Thank you for the invitation also. Uh, my topic for today will be revisit revisiting taxonomy and uh, plant protection importance of European Asopinae species, which belong to Pentatomidae family. As introduction, I would like to say uh, Asopinae is belong to Pentatomidae family under the Heteroptera suborder. Uh, they are the only subfamily species or subfamily taxa in the family, which are pretty known to be predaceous. Worldwide, nowadays, there are about 300 species in 65 genera, and mainly found in uh, all over the world. In West uh, Palarctic region, there are 13 species in nine genera. Okay. Uh, found all over the terrestrial biomes and temperate and tropical climate of the world. Various ecosystems uh, have been with different uh, uh, vegetation types of orchards, vegetable fields, fields, forests, grasslands, shrublands. And where the species speaks more abundant in neotropical, Nearctic, and indo malayan regions, and of course in the neo Palearctic regions. This is from a uh, uh, database of this uh, scientist um, as an iNaturalist organization. As have been regarded across the world, it seems. Uh, distributed every world with high peak population in North America. In North America and uh, uh, European regions and Himalaya, Indo-Himalayan regions, and of course, South uh, African, South American countries with the least existence in uh, African region. Uh, basically, this is the basic difference between the uh, Asopinae and the other remaining uh, members of the Pentatomidae uh, species, where the uh, mouse part is all four segmented, but it is the first segment is found to be uh, free and robust and easy uh, for location of the prey. The movement will be easy. And uh, of course, it is very slender compared to the phytophagus, uh, phytophagus species of pentatomine. So this structure uh, mainly refers to the asopine mouse partus. Uh, in asopine, still we have the uh, two groups as a general uh, predator and specialized predator based on the pheromone glandes located on the uh, abdomen. Uh, in general, predators, the glands are located on the dorsal abdomen in both sexes, whereas in specialized predator, they are only found in male. For example, in case of Perilus peaculatus, in uh, as a case of specialized predator, in general predator, as a case of Zikrona. This is the pictorial uh, reference or representation of the specialist predator. Uh, as a sexual dimorphism of uh, Perlus baculatus is shown as the abdominal uh, difference between male and female. 
so from the European, European Asipinis, we grouped them as a general predator and specialized predator. So we have only two uh, specialized predators as the Rachognathus punctatus and Pyrrhus biaculatus. And the remaining are the generalist uh, predator. Uh, coming to objective of this uh, today's presentation will be we'll try to review the uh, taxonomy point of view of the Arma Custos and Arma Inspirata. The second point will be Yala de Mosa and Yala Antracina, and the remaining uh, taxonomy uh, differences or comparison between the Pecrimor species of uh, Bidanus. Uh, conformis and uh, negridians. And of course, as part of this uh, presentation, we will also try to see the distribution and binomics of uh, European Asepini. And at last, we'll, we will see the plant protection importance of those mentioned species. As material methods, uh, we use uh, a specimen from Natural History, a history Museum of uh, Hungary, uh, Hungarian Natural History Museum, and of course also from a uh, uh, zoological institute of uh, of uh, Russian of the Russian and uh, Academy of Science, and try to figure out the previously not discussed characteristics of the some uh, mentioned Asiopinia uh, species using the light microscope and uh, scanning electron microscope uh, images. And of course, also we use the binomics and plant protection importance based on the literature uh, data and citizen uh, science databases like a naturalist. Uh, taxonomy and geographical distribution of European Asopine. Those are our target uh, species of uh, Asopinia species in uh, mainly found in Europe, are considered as European Asopinia species. Uh, let me start with the Arma Custos. Uh, Arma Custos are uh, known by the black uh, punctuation and the dark colors and mainly found in the Palarctic region uh, towards the, along with the a Korean and Japan uh, uh, distributions. So this, the image of uh, geographical distribution of Arma Custos. And this is also uh, Arma Inspireta, is known, uh, found in west uh, part of uh, Caspian Sea and uh, southeast part of uh, Europe. So the main difference between these two species are the uh, coloring. In the Arma Custos, it is black with, I mean, dark with uh, black uh, punctuations and very clear. But in case of Arma Custos, Arma Inspireta, the coloring is more or less same. And they are pale in color. The punctuation is uh, having the same coloring. And this is the uh, Arma Custos and Arma Inspireta difference when they are zooming in. Uh, <clears throat> the lateral uh, margin of the mandibular plate is seen yet, whereas in the uh, Inspireta, it is uh, straight, so, surpassing the away apex of the clippers. We can compare this. Uh, structure of the clippers and compared to the Arma Inspireta here. This is slightly, but it is well, no, well shown. It is already passing of the uh, clippers. And part another uh, point of uh, comparison is the humoral angle of the pronotum. In uh, case of uh, Arma Custos, it is uh, the lateral margin of pronotum is slightly uh, convex, whereas in uh, pronotum of the inspirator it is straight. In Arma Custos, uh, it is humeral angle moderately protruding, whereas in uh, inspirator it is uh, obtuse. So it is a bit the 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 angle is a bit 
clear here, but here is uh, somehow optis. Another uh, European species is Yalalamusa, is mainly found in uh, in the European, and with some occurrences in the, uh, the southern part of Russia. And so this is the geographical distribution of uh, Yala de Mosa in, uh, in Europe. And this is also Yala Antracina. Here is a somehow uh, contradiction between the Antracina and then the Yala de Mosa. The only difference is the coloration, uh, being considered previously as a lectotype of uh, lectotype species. But uh, since the yellow domos are found in variety of colors, it's somehow confused with the uh, yellow anthracina. But the only uh, somehow difference is the uh, coloration and the habitats also. And the other species of European uh, asopine is the uh, Picrimorus pedens is mainly found in Europe, uh, northmost of the Scandinavian countries and uh, Finland, Norway, toward east up to uh, Japan, Korea, and recently introduced, I mean, found to be in uh, in the uh, North America, USA and uh, and Canada. And the second is uh, Picromerus conformis where it is very uh, scattered distribution and uh, low record of uh, data on its distribution, but mainly found in the Mediterranean region, South uh, Europe and the Caspian, uh, West Caspian countries. And this is uh, Picromerus nigridens. Well, it is known in uh, Arabian Peninsula and uh, South part of uh, Russian in Mediterranean regions. So this is the pictorial difference between these uh, three species between Picromerus bidenus, Picromerus conformis, and Picromerus uh, nigridens. So in case of uh, uh, bidenus. The head is the head clippers with marginal parallel apical somehow uh, somehow constricted, whereas in confirmis it is uh, subparallel and uh, slightly constricted basally, whereas in uh, nigridens it is convex uh, medially. And the coming to the uh, pronotum, the homeral angle in uh, bidens is moderately erect. Uh, to very close to or to uh, spine like appearance, whereas in uh, conformis it is sub equal uh, moral angle with uh, straight. In uh, nigridens, it is a uh, moral angle is also straight, but here the only difference is the, in case of bidens, is spine like protrusion at the end of the moral angle. And this is the, another comparison of uh, these three species of uh, Picromerus, the metatrophic uh, scent uh, efferent apparatus using the scanning electron microscope, and of course the uh, digital, digital microscopes for comparison. Here in the Bidens, the median far of reaching approximately two thirds of the total area. And confirms it is uh, almost reaching the apex. Uh, in the case of uh, nigridens, it is uh, conspicuous and uh, it's not uh, very clear. Uh, the next species, in case of uh, Pentus signipenis, is uh, widely distributed uh, in Europe, of course, and also found in far east of uh, China, Korea, and Japan. Another is the uh, Rakagnotus uh, punctatus of the European uh, species. 
and it's well known by the it's dark color with the uh, some strips in their legs. This is also the Trulus luridus, where it's found in uh, all over the uh, Europe toward the east and uh, Trans Palatric region and the northernmost of the somehow Scandinavian countries. And uh, the Crona corolla is another species also uh, found in Europe. It's the only species in Asopini found in Europe with the blue, uh, metallic blue or green iridescent colors. And of course, found all over the world, mainly distributed in the uh, Europe or trans uh, Palearctic region toward the Indo Himalayan and Far East. And of course, also to the uh, North America. Uh, the last but not least, another species we have is the Perulus biaclatus. Uh, this is native to North America and uh, introduced very recently to uh, Europe for compacting or managing uh, Colorado phototope beetle, but it's failed to survive due to uh, winter and uh, some climatic conditions. And but it's been recorded feeding on the uh, many pieces, such as uh, pieces of belong to rock pieces. And this is recently uh, reported from uh, Hungary, from uh, uh, in from the iNaturalist. And uh, so it's not previously reported from Hungary, it's a new to Hungary. In, uh, in report cases. This is also the uh, MTSEA or Metathoracic Scent Efferent Apparatus images from scanning electron microscopes of the Arma Custos. And this is for the Yala Domosa. So the MTSEA Im images of the Pentius Sagnipinus and Terilus Lurudius. Uh, MTSA images of uh, Zicrona corella and uh, Racognatus punctipus. And the last one is the Perulus biaclatus. This is all about the uh, morphological uh, characterization and the difference between those European uh, species. Coming to the review of uh, plant protection importance of European Asopine, uh, it's known that Asopinia, as uh, I said in introduction, they are the only toxin in the uh, family, which are uh, predators. And of course, given a great role in uh, managing uh, insect pieces. For example, in Perulus biaclatus, resulted in 98% of predatory performance on Colorado petito beetle is recorded in uh, Southern Russia. Out of all those Asopinia species, only 10% of has been studied as a biological control agent. So a long way to go to, or, or waiting more to do so. Uh, they are preying on mainly in, in uh, soft and slow moving uh, larval insects belong to order of Lepidoptera, Polyptera, Hymenoptera, and uh, Diptera. But not only on the larval, but they can also feed on the adults, as it has been shown in the figure. So they are both male, uh, I mean, uh, nymph and adults are very active in preying uh, pest species in both uh, stage of life cycle of the insect pests of adult and uh, nymph. So this is the prerequisites of Asipinus species. Uh, found in literature it has been feeding in the live in the uh, natural ecosystems or the orchard ecosystem. Uh, out of those, only uh, two, three are not yet found uh, or confirmed while they are feeding on the uh, field conditions. Uh, rearing is another uh, task of uh, 
or a mass rearing of augmentation uh, purpose of uh, a subpoena. So in this case, generalist predators are more preferable as they can thrive well in broad host ranges. The advantage of those characteristics are the high predation rate, high fertility, short life cycle, adaptability to diverse climate conditions, low mortality rate, high egg hatchability, high survival rate, and be mentioned as the advantage characteristics of a subpoena species. Uh, mass rearing using not only by uh, can be reared using the alternative fields, can be effectively mass rearing using artificial also, not only alternative or artificial also, either as an the, alongside their natural prey or as the soil feed. The prey uh, can be used as artificial feed like uh, like uh, chicken liver, uh, pork and uh, egg yolk encapsulated in in parafilm parafilms prey uh, live prey user for experimenters included target pest species in case of of course in this case we don't have uh, european asopine but as long as they are asopine uh, they can easily be reared using those uh, species so this belongs to mainly to Lepidoptera, Lepidoptera, and uh, Coleoptera for experimental uh, matters or mass rearing. As the uh, summary end of the discussion of this uh, in plant protection importance of uh, Asepine, I would like to mention those uh, SWOT analysis. Uh, maybe it's time, but we can have the strengths, opportunity, and weakness, and treat as a SWOT analysis in general of uh, this point. As a discussion, I would like to say this kind of uh, this type of uh, uh, work or uh, result will be soon to be published or submitted to articles and uh, looking for suitable. Uh, journals to publish. In this case, we have already discussed the illustrated key of uh, Arma Custos and Arma Inspirata and the Yola Domosa, Yala Andresina, uh, and the three species of Picrimorus uh, species. And uh, bionomics based on literature and citizen uh, science records as uh, shown the distrib geographical distribution. And they are uh, morphology characteristics. And at last, we have mentioned the discussion, uh, the plant protection importance, as we have just uh, seen in the previous slides. This is all what I have for today. Thank you for your attention. And thank you for your time.